Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of my tutorial for Rural Flows in You. And in this part, I'm gonna show you how to play this. So what you do in this part is just play the same thing that we already played in the middle of the song just with a different intro. So your intro sounds like this. And as you can see this, we already had this up here. So it stays exactly the same, up uh, just one octave lower, and with another intro. And I will teach you this intro now. So what you do is you hit F sharp, C sharp, F sharp with your left hand, and two A's with your right hand. So like this. And then you do the same as in the intro of the song. Alright, so A, G sharp, A, G sharp. Then with the left hand you go down to D, A, D. And you do exactly the same as in the intro again. E, A, D. Alright, so... And now the thing comes that you already know. Now the second time you play it, it just stays exactly the same as you already learned it. And now on the last note you play with your left hand, you will continue with the chorus again, or I like to say the chorus of the song again. So again, one more time. And then just the chorus comes. Alright, so I think we can continue with the next part. So it starts again the same. And now it changes this in this part. So you don't play it like this. You just leave this E leave it away all right so after this you just continue with a b and c sharp and now you don't play it a second time you just uh, go up to this note and slow down a bit and then the final outro comes, which sounds really nice, I think. And this will go like this. Now you can play this as fast as, as you want. The faster you play it, the more awesome it sounds. So again, you play A, G sharp, A, 
And on the uh, second A, you will do this uh, row thing. You go F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Then go to the next C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. So you just play those two notes, right? Just up the uh, keyboard, up the piano, whatever you got. And now this, uh, the first time you played it, you played with the right hand, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. And the second time you will continue with your left hand and play it again. Okay, so. Then you go to the next row. And if you want to, you can even play it the last time up here. Alright? So again, like this. You can go to the upper F sharp if you want to, or just up to here, whatever you like better. You can also just outro like this. Whatever you like best. It's just your own thing, how you make the outro. I just make like this. And now you can see it on my video. But the last note I play is the lowest F sharp. All right? So here is the F sharp, then one lower, and then the very lowest F sharp. All right? That's the very last note you hit if you want to do my outro. So again, the very last part. Alright, so I hope you liked it, I hope you got everything, and I will see you in the next tutorial.